Alexa versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. Okay, looks like I finally queued into a Reno deck and I've actually got the dream opener. Maybe I toss the knife juggler, weasel, coin camel into camel. It's nice to have both camels because there is a fiery bat in my deck that I could get. Okay, cool. He's not Zoo. Nice, got the other Weasel. So since I got the other Weasel, I'll probably go for Eagle Hornbow or Animal Companion next turn. Doomsayer. The only way I can kill Doomsayer is if I roll Huffer. If I 3 face, he goes down to 24, heals up to 28. If I kill the Mistress first with the Weasel Tunneler and then send the Camel face, he's still down to 28, so it doesn't really matter. I guess I'm just developing the Eagle Hornbow here. If I trade my Weasel Tunneler, there's a chance he draws it next turn. I actually don't want him to draw the Weasel Tunneler, I don't think. Yeah, I want the Weasel Tunneler to be in his deck for Kazakas going into his turn 4. Probably just throw down a Freezing Trap in front of that guy. I really wish I had a 2 mana minion I could play here with the Freezing Trap. I think without it I have to just play Barnes. Or maybe Animal Companion Fiery Bat. This thing is really annoying, so I sure would love to freeze it. Plus it would give me a weapon charge. Maybe Freezing Trap Fiery Bat's okay? It would mean that next turn could be Animal Companion plus Hero Power, and the Hero Power does have quite a bit of value. I think I like the Freezing Trap play. If I didn't have the bow in play that wanted to get the extra charge, I don't think I would make this play. That's a bummer. So let's start with Animal Companion, I think. So I can do 5 face damage, I can trade the Fiery Bat into this in Hero Power, or I can quick shot it and give up my Hero Power. Going face means that his board clears are a lot more effective on Leoc, but like if he's playing Hellfire I think that's fine. He's spending a bunch of mana doing even Demon Wrath, I think that's fine. Let's just get this face damage in. Nice, he had to make that trade anyway. Ooh, Thorson's pretty scary. Second quick shot, that gives me a lot of damage. Go with Barnes, put him in this position in case I get Dire Wolf Alpha. Kindly Grandmother's okay. We're just going face. I'm not in the business of killing a Birth Orison. Oh, I got him! And he's dead. The dream. The dream! I definitely don't want to keep either of these. Knife Juggler is an early play. Maybe Barnes is good enough that I keep it to coin out on three. I'm not really looking for weasels in this matchup. I think I'll keep Barnes, since I have the coin. Alright, well I drew two other three drops, so turns out that probably wasn't that great of a keep. But coin three into three into Barnes is actually still pretty nice. Yeah, I think I will go 
coin three into three into barns, since now I can go knife juggler unleash at some point. Although that combo isn't particularly strong against rogue. I wasn't sure which three drop to play here, but since I picked up the snake trap, I think it's a pretty easy cloaked huntress. If I played animal companion and got huffer, it was really bad against his board. He has fan and knives, I get a little bit wrecked here, but it still costs him his whole turn and he takes three damage, and then I get to develop an animal companion into nothing. But it looks like he didn't even have it. I feel like I haven't had a fan and knives played against me in a really long time. Does Miracle Rogue still play that card? I legitimately don't know. Misha was pretty good there. If he doesn't have Eviscerate or Sap or something, it makes his Shaku really bad. Looks like he does have a way to kill it though. What the fuck? Well, I didn't see that coming. Alright, let's go for Barnes here. It's a pretty good one. I'm not sure if I'd rather have 3 damage or kill off the Shaku. If I leave up the Shaku, obviously he gets another card out of it. But if I leave it up, he's probably not going to trade it off. Although against this board, he might have to. If he leaves it up, it makes my juggler unleash combo a little bit better. I think I'm just going to kill it. He didn't have Phantom Knives a couple turns ago, so it shouldn't be that easy for him to deal with this Cloaked Huntress without taking 3 damage anyway. Thank you. Uh, this has to be Juggler Unleash, right? It's so good here. And I don't have enough room, so I'm going to trade this thing into the Naga. Really nice juggles. So I'm definitely doing this. Question is, how do I want to trade now? Do I want to keep a death rattle up, or do I just want to go ahead and pop it so I have a 3-2? I think I'll keep the death rattle on the board. I wonder if this is just Miracle Rogue with Naga Corsair thrown in. I haven't seen anything too piratey. I don't quite have lethal here. The Azure Drake is a little bit scary, but I really don't want to put damage into it. I think I'm just gonna go face. I don't think he's very likely to be able to kill me from this board state, especially with Explosive and Vera. And then, even if he clears my board and doesn't trigger Explosive Trap, I have Tunnel or Kill Command Hero Power for lethal. Okay, he is playing pirates. He just happened to get a very miracle-y draw. I applaud this man for not playing Cancer Shaman or Cancer Warrior at rank 5. I think Cloaked Huntress is strong enough to keep, and I'll keep Weasel Tunneler. I don't have many other turn one plays. Hopefully he's Reno Priest and not just Dragon Priest. So there's some debate as to whether I should Cat Trick or Hero Power here. If I play Cat Trick, I miss out on the two damage, and I can probably play the Cat Trick for free later on. Although I guess he does have the coin. So it's probably good to go ahead and play out Cat Trick. Coin Blackwing Tech or Coin Ball Talon Priest would be pretty common plays here, I think. And the Hero Power actually only did one damage, if I consider that he was going to Hero Power himself that turn. I don't really want to give him 
a Northshire Cleric from the Desert Camel, so I'm just going to play Animal Companion. Cool, get my cat out. I think I'll play the Desert Camel here. If it's a Northshire Cleric, I don't feel that bad sending this guy into it. Since it's a 2-1, I can just trade off the Weasel Tunneler. Oh, that's a sick Potion of Madness. That's really bad for me. I can't afford to kill Command of the Cabal Talon Priest this turn because I don't get to do anything else along with it. I can play Cloaked Huntress and kind of bluff a Freezing Trap, but he probably has to just attack anyway. I can play Animal Companion. If I get Misha, it's very good. If I get Huffer, it's okay. If I get Leoc, it's pretty bad. Actually, if I get Leoc, it's a 50-50 to kill the Talon Priest. Good for Animal Companion. Got the Huffer. Question is, do I trade here? I think I really want this face damage. Pretty obvious that he's already pulling away from me in card advantage. The Corruptor is a bit of a bummer, but I don't think there was really much of a way I could have played around that. The Secret's a good draw here, I guess. The Snakes are actually pretty strong. If he doesn't have a spell way to clear my 3-4. Oh, I'm happy to see that. Build off his Talon Priest. Is he playing Reno this turn? If he doesn't have Reno, I think I'm actually going to win this game. No Reno, so I'm 2 damage off. Although maybe he just doesn't feel like he needs to play it here. Okay, the big taunt's pretty good for him. The Desert Camel's not great here, because he'll probably get a Northshire Cleric, but I think I have to play it. Oh, I got another 2-1. Okay. I think I'm just going face. My shield for Argon! Alright, I think it's actually going to be pretty hard to win from here. Unleash the Hounds is pretty good here, but probably just doesn't quite do enough. I guess we just kill this one off. I need quick shot here. Eagle Hornbow is not bad. It deals with that taunt and does set up quite a bit of damage for next turn. I guess if he doesn't have a taunt, I could just draw Leroy next turn and win. Oh, Leroy is probably not lethal anymore. He's showing 13. So that secret is bare, explosive, or freezing. All of which would mean that a Leroy top deck is not lethal. If I Eagle Horn Bow him down to 5, he heals up to 7. I Hero Power him back down to 5. I have nothing in my deck that deals 5 damage. Except Quick Shot. So I guess I should attack. Oh, Unleash the Hounds actually does it. Um, I guess I should attack. So the quick shot and the eagle horn bow is an out next turn. Job done. I think I'm not dead to this, right? He needs one more damage. Alright, 
8 mana on a Chromagus is basically nothing. It doesn't really affect the game at all. I guess he does have to be worried about Explosive Trap here. Because Explosive Trap gives me a lot of outs. So we're on Leroy, Unleash the Hounds, or Quick Shot into more damage. There's the Quick Shot. And that's not more damage. Man, that Potion of Madness really fucked me up. A 2-4 into a 4-2 is about as good as it gets. If I keep this sick combo, turn one Weasel Tunneler, he responds with a minion, bam, Snake Trap. I wonder if I keep Quick Shot. I think the Snake Trap thing is not good. Probably don't even keep Weasel Tunneler. Quick Shot's pretty good against Trog and Buccaneer. Fiery Bat is a better turn one than Weasel Tunneler. That was by far the best totem for him. Wonder if I eagle horn bow this thing. Pretty fucking annoying. Yep, I guess I eagle horn bow is hero power to protect my fiery bat. I don't think there's any way I could ever trade the bat into the one one. So if I just played knife juggler, I got pretty wrecked by um, maelstrom portal. Could have gone for animal companion, but only Leoc was good. Or only Misha was good, sorry. I guess Huffer was good too, because it got in the damage, but it was still weak to Maelstrom Portal. Anyway, let's go for this. Huffer's nice. These are going face, I think. Would I rather send Huffer in here, save my bow, since I have Snake Trap and Explosive Trap? This bow damage might be pretty important. I think I do want to play Juggler Snake Trap here. Question is, how do I do it? I guess I could also go Fiery Bat into the Trog and then Juggler Weasel Tunneler, but I'd have to get two good juggles for that to work out. I really don't want to use my bow this turn. I feel like I need the damage. I think I like attacking in here. It's really bad that that went face. But attacking in there means that my snakes, or my juggles, will probably kill these guys. Hopefully. Nice, I did kill both of them. Though since those ended up dying right there, it didn't really matter that the fiery bat went face. Weak turn from him. Can I afford to play the Desert Camel here? I guess he's gonna get a Trog off of this. So that's going face for sure. Do I kill off spell damage and then bow into this? I'm probably just going face. I have a lot of damage. Set him to 10. Have quick shot, bow, hero power next turn. Wow, if that's his whole turn, I think he's dead. 